Okay, so today we're going to look at creative apps, how to be digitally creative. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go way back to the very beginning. So the original humans had to be creative in order to survive, and that's why we're here today and ultimately why you're watching this video. And so peppered throughout history, you have all kinds of creative individuals. Of course, Leonardo da Vinci and other names like Benjamin Franklin, uh, people like the Greeks, lots of creative individuals. And, I mean, just look at kids. Kids love being creative. It's like a core of our being to be creative. And, of course, there's, there's careers in creativity. Think of construction workers or architects or any number of jobs in which you're creating something. And so let's go ahead and get started. If you want to create digital drawings, there's an app called Autodesk Sketchbook that allows you to essentially paint with your mouse. That's pretty good. There's also Piscal, where you can create pixel art. And you can create high-quality vector art images with Adobe Illustrator. If you want to create 3D models, a good place to start out is Tinkercad. This is a browser-based app. There's also SketchUp, which is more based for architects and architecture, but still a high-quality 3D app. And Blender, very versatile app, although with Blender I should note that the, the learning curve is pretty steep. And the industry standard of 3D, one of the industry standards is Maya. If you want to create animations, one of the types of animations is stop motion animation, and Stop Motion Studio is a great mobile platform for making that, those kind of animations. There's also Blender, where you can make high quality 3D animations, and Stick Figure Master teaches the fundamentals of 3D animations in a 2D environment. There's also Synfig Studio, where you can make high quality 2D animations for free, and Adobe After Effects is a really high quality animation platform and beyond. You can do a lot with Adobe After Effects. If you want to quote unquote create worlds, the industry standard, at least popular culture will tell you that it's Minecraft where you can create these pixel style worlds. But there's all sorts of other apps like Alice 2 where you can create your own quote unquote worlds while learning the basics of Java at the same time. And there's another app that you can, it, it's released by Google, where you can create virtual reality tours. Super cool, browser based, using the street map, or sorry, the street view system. And there's these special apps I couldn't find a good category for, so here they are. It's basically miscellaneous, where there's Gary's Mod, where you can create. Gary's Mod is kind of like Minecraft for vehicles. There's Home Design 3D where you can create blueprints for houses and actually 3D, you, you can actually virtually go into the houses. And there's Tinkercad Circuits where you can test out robotics projects, specifically with Arduino. Kerbal Space Program is a really fun app where you can design and test rockets in a, a really cool physics-based environment. If you want to create sounds and audio and music, uh, a, a real quick way to record audio is Audacity. If you want to make a simple beat for free, LMMS is a great app for you. There's also GarageBand, which is a simple way of creating music on Mac. And Logic Pro is the, the next level of GarageBand. And then there's Ableton Live, which is cross-platform, so it's on Windows and Mac. And you can make some high-quality music as well. If you want to create photos, it's really photo editing. Adobe Photoshop is the standard photo editor. There's also Paint.net if you're on a Windows system. And there's GIMP, which stands for Graphics Image Manipulation Program, where you can apply some high-quality photo editing to your images. If you want to create videos, there's OpenShot, great free platform to use. And iMovie, if you have a Mac, is a great way to whip up some quick edits for beginners and Final Cut Pro X is the next level of iMovie so if you like iMovie and want more Final Cut Pro X is great and there's Adobe Premiere Pro which is another industry standard in the video editing world if you want to create games a great, a great place to start out is Scratch 
or even the what was just released, Super Mario Maker 2, but you need a Nintendo Switch to use that one. And there's Black Souls Builder, which is cool because you can physically create sprites and test them out in a 2D mobile app environment. <laughs> There's also Roblox Studio, which is a great way to quickly whip up multiplayer environments. And Unity, which is one of the industry standards of the 3D game world. Also, it, it also does 2D, but very high quality game engine there. If you want to create a website, a great way to prototype ideas is uh, a website called Mockingbird, which has free features. Wix and Google Sites are easy ways, relatively easy ways to create simple websites. And one of the industry standards uh, of the web design slash web development world is WordPress. WordPress.org, not WordPress.com. You can create some high quality websites there. Okay, so we've reached the end. I, I, I know I went through a lot of apps in a short amount of time, but I hope that helped you out. And I hope you stay creative. I hope you get creative. I hope you be creative. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.